Like many of you, I grew up in the church and had to memorize the different parts of liturgy that we used for worship. The call to worship, the prayer of confession, the Lord's Prayer, the Apostles' Creed, and even some of the scriptures. Now, while I don't know many passages by heart, one I did, and it was the 23rd Psalm. One thing we have to be careful with, with the 23rd Psalm, written by Isaac Watts, was that we have to be careful not to confuse wants and needs. He's not talking about what we want, because that list goes on forever, but he's talking about what do we need, and need not by our thought of needs, but need so that we can worship and glorify and honor and serve Almighty God. One Sunday after I had attended seminary and was serving my first church in Northern Virginia near Quantico as an associate pastor, that Sunday we had a guest minister who was preaching and he was focusing on the 23rd Psalm. Now, mostly at that point in my ministry, I had associated the 23rd Psalm with funerals and memorial services. But this minister took a whole different tact, and he used different words at the beginning of the psalm. And he emphasized God's presence, and not just in times of difficulties or trials, but throughout all of life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Those words became, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. And I thought, wait a minute, that's not how it goes. I lack nothing. Here, the psalmist and Isaac Watts were saying, my needs for food and water, for body and soul, were being met, and the shepherd would lead me in the right ways to go. I lack nothing. Even in times of trials and difficulties, when surrounded by enemies, I lack nothing. For you, the shepherd, are beside me, before me, above me, behind me, and with me in your own home till I reach the end of my life, and I am with you then for all eternity. I admit that even after seminary training and in my middle age, don't like to think of it that way, but that's what it was, I still, at times, thought of myself as lacking something. So when Peter said, are you awesome, I had to think about that a little bit. But here, this minister was telling me that with Jesus as my shepherd, I lacked nothing. Hymn number 172 says it well, and there are several versions of the Lord is my shepherd in our hymn book, but this one ever since that day has spoken to me maybe the strongest because it does say my shepherd will supply my need, not my wants, but my needs. Jehovah is his name. I may have other wants, but my needs will be met, and I will lack nothing. <laughs>